Students enrolled in Ulster Bosey's Hudson Valley Pathways Academy were recently challenged by executives at Mediacom, the eighth largest cable company in the country, to help identify the limitations of wireless internet, a challenge they named the last 50 feet. It's the end of the internet. Every home has the last 50 feet. And every home has to be, wants to be able to consume Netflix and Google and they want to be able to watch it without interruption and stuttering. And th this gives them a chance to, to work on a real part of the internet. One of the goals of this project is to get students interested in information technology sooner than later. Network specialist Joe Salvage says predicting future Wi-Fi capabilities is top priority for anyone who is in the cable industry. There are innovations in network technology, but largely that the network is built, they just need to build more of it. And they need a lot of jobs to, uh, for, for people to keep up with all of the demand. Students say this type of project-based learning has motivated them to embrace subjects such as science, technology, and engineering, and to associate the internet more with discovery and innovation, rather than only as a way to update their Facebook status. I didn't know that you had to have your Wi-Fi in a certain spot, your Wi-Fi router. I didn't know, I thought you could just put it anywhere and you'd get Wi-Fi wherever. Something I didn't know before was the obstructions. I didn't know that mirrors and metal could obstruct Wi-Fi signals. Their research taught them about coverage gaps, security considerations, and network management issues. We had to go around the Carnegie building inside and outside to map all the uh, Wi-Fi is what we could get. Having a lot of Wi-Fi in one area, what can that do? It could make it, your uh, systems go slower. After working on their projects for several weeks, groups of students presented their findings to top brass at Mediacom's headquarters. Not an easy task for these high school freshmen. My knees were shaking for a little bit. Um, but it feels good just talking in front of a crowd in general because I don't really have a phobia of it, it just makes me really nervous, so overcoming my nervousness and talking in front of people feels good. IT people, network people, they're, they're not afraid of spiders, and so they don't cringe at the idea. They, they, they find that the technology is interesting, they find that when, when they put, put it together it kind of meshes. The technology that they learn is absolutely applicable upstream to network engineering.